Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Um, I've just picked up this five port uh, gigabit switch. It's made by TP-Link. They do a range of switches, routers, wireless access points, um, home plugs. They do loads of stuff. Um, this particular model is so it's five port gigabit switch. It's the TL SG105. Uh, it's metal. Um, you may be looking at this and thinking I've seen a Netgear version of this. Yeah, there is there is a Netgear version. It looks a little bit like that. This, these are the features. So five port gigabit. What do you get in the box? Well, you get the switch, installation guide, and power adapter. So if you've got an existing network and you just want to extend it or you're starting off and you want to start a network, this is what you want. I mean basically you just plug things into it. If, For example, if you've got a router, you can plug from your router into this then everything into that so you can extend it easily. So I'm taking the cellophane wrapping off of it. Easy to unbox. I literally just bought this. I think it was £20. 20, 20, 25 pounds, something like that. Okay. Now I have used TP Link stuff for years, and one thing I will say about it is it is affordable and very reliable. I've never had a problem with TP Link, and I've I've had I've got wireless switches. That's wireless access points. I've got at least three or four gigabit switches, uh, five and eight port, not these metal ones though, but they've been absolutely fine. Quite a bit in here. So, that, so anyway, this has obviously got a switch out. You've got your technical support and installation guide. I mean, really, plugging stuff into it. If it works, it works. Um, it's a power adapter, three pin UK plug, and the bottom here it looks like some rubber feet for the switch. I might use those. And that is it. Okay, so nice and neatly packaged. So you can't really go wrong with these sort of things, providing you don't plug from one port into another cause a loop back sort of thing some switches have protection i'm not sure if this one does but you wouldn't do that sort of your standard plug nice bits at the side here so it doesn't break off that's that's quite handy for that quite a long lead as well And here is the actual switch right so five ports looks like we've got a link and activity leds green and a white guess that changes to orange focusing a bit on that you got your power on here you've got a bit of some holes here for ventilation uh looks like you've got um a security lock so you can put a security lock and tighten something if it's in a school or work nine volt power See that plug straight in there. Around the side you've got air vents. Um, right, so it's fanless as well. Uh, this tells you about it, the mode number, 9 volt with the adapter um, and other bits. And that's basically it pretty much. That's the TP-Link 5, gig, 5 port gigabit switch. I hope that helps somebody. Hey guys, welcome back. This is just a little follow up video to the unboxing I've done. I've done. So this is the switch up and running. You've got your um, power LED there. Um, link speed LEDs on the left. I did actually think that the LED on the left was, uh, if it was connected or not, and the LED on the right, the orange one would have been the activity, but it's not. I was wrong about that. It's um, If you look at the top, it's got 1,000 megabit, 10 and 100 so 
these two here a gigabit thousand megabit this is a hundred so just to clear that up but that's the switch up and running